Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Can you Good hear evening. me? Yes. Good evening. My sincere apologies. I'm having internet problems. That's why it took me this long. I don't know what happened, uh, but I really apologize for being a little bit late. I'm going to cover these five minutes at the end, okay? Don't worry, it's okay. Aha, uh -huh. ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing? Are we ready? I'm already to learn English one day more. <laughs> Say that again, Angel. I'm, I'm already to learn English one day more. One more day, all right, one okay. more day. Yes, definitely. How was your day? Anything to tell us about your day, Angel? Oh, well, was busy because I have a lot of work, but um, relax because it's not a lot of stress, uh, but I feel good now. What is What is your job? Oh, I'm a credit analyst. Credit analyst? Yes, like an analyst senior. Like an advisor? Like mm. a credit advisor? Or yes, that is similar, but it's like, um, I don't know what, what is, how do you say, but it's the, it's like an analyst senior. I have a group of analysts and I will, made a lot of report about credit uh, to 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 make a study about some people to apply a uh, credit okay table. so you check their credit score and you analyze if they qualify or don't qualify for credit Yes, because some people uh, want to buy a car, house, mm -hmm. uh, money. Mm -hmm. Great, great, great. Glad to know. It's pretty interesting. I'm glad you enjoy your days at work. Some days are busier than others, and some days are more chilling than others. So I'm glad you're now here with us to participate and to practice your English. Um, let's say hello to Sabrina Garcia. How's it going, Ms. Garcia? Hi, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm doing very well today. Thank you for asking. Uh, waiting for my class with you guys. I really enjoy my class with you and, and I hope uh, we can keep, we keep uh, working and learning the best way we can. Did you have a good day today? Anything to say about it? Okay, what about uh, Stella? Good evening, Mrs. Stella. How's it going tonight? Good evening, teacher. And um, my day was nice. I, I enjoy my job. <laughs> what about you? Me too, me too. I had a nice oh, class, uh, in-person class in the morning with some advanced teenagers. It was, it was very interesting. In the afternoon, I just worked one hour and then um, I rested for a little bit, share some time with my family, and now I'm ready to have a good time with you. All right. Someone else, let's say hello to someone else. Lady Caroline Ventura, how's it going today? It's Thursday, it's almost weekend. How fast, huh? Good evening, teacher. How's it going, Miss Ventura? Um, that in, in that moment, uh, I'm going to drive to San Miguel. Wow, where are you right now? Uh, Sudutan. That's a long trip, miss. <laughs> yes. And just by yourself? You're driving by yourself? Um, some, uh, sometimes me and sometimes my husband. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, be careful, be careful on the road, okay? So we're not gonna count with your participation today, do we? Yeah, I think so. Okay, no Maybe problem. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Thank you. No problem, we understand. <laughs> um, how about Miss Denise Soriano? Welcome, good evening, Miss. How's it well, going? Um, hi. And um, my day was um, normal, but uh, some something uh, irrelevant. Uh huh. Relevant in this case is that today I took a test of COVID because in my job everybody's sick. So uh, tomorrow I will uh, take the test again. And really, I'm, I'm so, so sick, but I'm not sure if, re if really I am uh, Infected. sick. Infected. Yes, affected. But with the test is not, not sure. Mm -hmm. It's not comfortable, confiably. Reliable. Reliable. It's not 100% reliable? Much, yes, yes, because it's the, I don't know, it's a plastic and I don't know. But, but uh, in my, in the office, it was um, 14 or 14 or 15. And now we are four or three only. Wow. Yes, but everything is okay. <laughs> and but but how do you feel? Do you feel any kind of symptoms? Do you feel chills, yes, cough, uh, fever? The, fever? No, have a headache. I have a headache, and how do you say garganta? Throat. When, throat. Your throat. You you have a sore throat. Uh huh. And that's it for a moment. Oh, so it's very likely that you may be sick, Miss, but yeah. you know, I'm not a doctor, but uh, from what I can hear, um, it's very likely. So hopefully, hopefully you're not. Um, I know you, you took the COVID test. You took the COVID-19 test. Yes. So hopefully it's negative and, and um, it's just a false alarm, okay? Yes. All right. Let's go ahead and start. Let's go ahead and start. Uh, we have most of you now ready. Okay. I hope you are ready to take some notes, to learn new vocabulary, and uh, get sharp with your English. Let's go ahead and uh, pull up the book. I'm going to share with you. In a moment, bear with me, bear with me. Let's share screen here. Okay, get ready to give your best um, participation. I, let me see, we have two chats. Let's see what do people say right now. Teacher, good evening. Today I drive to La Unión. Who's that? Mario, Jose Mario, oh. Okay, listener. Okay, Mario, no problem, sir. We won't push you too much tonight. Um, here, we have our new um, objective, which is a sketch, the basics of the branding process. We're gonna talk about the branding process um, for a person or a company. And the question we will um, open with, it is why it is or why is it important to create a strong brand why is it important to create a strong brand for a product do you feel identified with the brand you represent well actually you guys gave me some opinions last night let me check give me one second guys my computer is acting out a little bit give me one second Okay, there it is. This is what we saw last time. It went up and I had it ready right here. There you go. This is the one. Um, identify the brand components of well-known national brands. You might be familiarized with a lot of national brands. So the question now is, 
is a weak brand good investment? What happens when a brand does not meet consumers' expectations? First, do you understand this question? Is a weak brand a good investment? Is a weak brand. Do you understand this word, weak? Yes? No, what is the, the meaning of weak, teacher? Weak is the opposite of strong. Correct. Is a weak brand a good investment? Do you know this word, investment? Inversion, right? Investment. Repeat, guys. Investment. 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 Now, the action verb is invest, right? Invest. Yeah. So, investment. Is a, is a weak brand a good investment? What's your opinion? What's your opinion? Is it a good think, or bad? Go ahead. Uh, well, I think... Uh, in, well, I think it's not a, a week because, for example, if you invest uh, investment in something, if you make an investment in some product, uh, sometimes you get a, a gain sometimes. At the beginning, you try to, to know the marketing, the market, mm -hmm. but after you have the Mm, the gain, I think. Okay, okay, makes sense, makes sense. Um, let me let me ask you the second question because it says, "What happens when a brand does not meet the consumer's expectations? What what can you expect?" Any other participant? I think it's difficult to uh, increase the sales because it's important to uh, know about the consumer's expectations. It's important to know. Definitely, Kathy. It's important to know. Yes, it's important to be familiarized with the customer's expectations. So it's definitely um, something negative. Um, what else can happen when the brand does not meet the customer's expectation? What other consequence do you think can happen? Kathy said that it will be very difficult to increase the sales if the brand does not meet the consumer's expectations. What else can you expect? The company will be rocking. All right, that's a good one. The company will be broken. Okay, the company will get into bankruptcy. Yeah, bankruptcy. Um, they will disappear. They might disappear sooner or later. Why? Because everything or all, all the magic is on the consumers. If they are happy, then you will be happy as the owner, right? So thank you for your comments. Let's go ahead and practice the conversation. Um, here we have a conversation between Andrea and Vincent. We're going to take turns practicing it. Uh, first of all, we're going to read it and pronounce it. We're gonna read it and pronounce it. If you like, I'm going to pronounce it completely, okay? And you can you can repeat after me, or uh, you can mute your mic 
and you can repeat yourself at home. The idea is that you catch all the pronunciation as it is. Ready? Ready, ready? Here we go, people. Open uh, your active, your active listening. Here we go. Let's improve our pronunciation. Andrea says, watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are popular. They are very popular at work. We repeat. Please. Watch this TV ad. Watch this Okay. They make you, they can make you float like a feather. Interesting. Okay. Vincent says, I would love, I would never, I'm sorry, I would never get, I would never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. Repeat. I will never get a pair of shoes. They are too expensive. Too expensive. Too expensive. Mm -hmm. Let's go with Andrea. I wouldn't, I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. But a brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. Repeat. I, I wouldn't either. either. Later, we're going to do it in pairs. No worries. The last one. Vincent says, the marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuzz is about. The marketing department is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuzz is about. Do you have any question about the vocabulary so far? There is, regardless. Ooh, regardless, I love that word. Good pronunciation. Everybody repeat, regardless. 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 Regard, regard, regardless. Regardless. Regardless is one of my favorite words. Um, it's equals to no matter what. No matter what. Do you understand? For example. No importa. Similar. For example, you say you can say right. you can say I'm going to finish this module. I'm going to finish this English course until advanced six. Regardless, no more, I don't. Huh? I'm sorry. Repeat it, please. <laughs> it's like when you have a purpose and you want to do it, no matter what, no matter the obstacles, no matter the problems, you will do it for sure. So. In English, I can tell you it's like no matter what. In Spanish, it can be like. Um, I understand. Sin it's a purpose. It's a okay. purpose. It's como que mm -hmm. no me importa, sin importar, a pesar de todo, right? A pesar de los problemas, regardless, regardless of the problems, regardless of uh, the difficulties, you continue, right? You continue. So, 
any other word unknown or unfamiliar for you? I'm sorry, I can't, I can't hear. Can you speak up? I think you're breaking up. I think you have a little problem with your internet connection. Um, are you able to repeat or somebody has another question? For example, wait, 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 we have a chat. First, first, escándalo. Uh -huh. That's why he said, I think I will buy a pair of shoes, a pair, right? Uh, to see what all the fuss is about. Fuss, escándalo, F-U-S-S. -S. All right. Now, feather, what is feather? Do you understand feather? Feather. Pluma. Pluma. Okay, very well. Excellent, excellent. Now, any question as far as pronunciation? Any, any, any word that maybe you think you need to check the pronunciation? If not, we can go now to practice. Okay, let me evaluate your pronunciation now. Um, we're gonna choose pairs to practice the pronunciation. Of course, Andrea is gonna be played by a lady and Vincent, a gentleman. Let's start with um, who? Let's start with Angel and Carmen. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready to give your best pronunciation now? Yes, teacher. All right, let's put some passion. Let's put some love to your pronunciation. Angel, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. let's go now. Okay, watch this TV. Uh, they are stealing shoes that can make you float like a fever. They are very popular at work. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, I could hear you, um, uh, but uh, you sounded a little robotic. Maybe it's because of the internet connection. Let's try to continue. Let's try to continue, Angel, go ahead. Okay. I would never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. Let's go, Carmen. Let's go. Either, but a brand that I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it from. Okay, Carmen. I think we're gonna cut it right Please. here because I, I think makes yeah. Customer buy it regret regretless of a price maybe they really make you faster yeah we're having some internet problems can you hear can you hear carmen well guys no no teacher yeah i'm sorry carmen we will try with you later okay and um remember here the pronunciation of this word is regardless repeat guys regardless regardless, regardless. Yes. Okay. Let's keep uh, Angel and we're going to invite Estela. Are you ready, Estela? <laughs> All right. Let's rock and roll. Watch this TV. Thank you. Watch this TV ad. Uh, they are selling shoes that can make you float, you, uh, you float. like a feather, feather. They are very popular at work. I would never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't uh, either, but a brand that delivers what it's promised 
uh, makes customer buy it regardless, regardless uh, of price. Maybe they really, thank you. <laughs> Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what I what all the fuss is about. Fuss. Teacher, the the pronunciation fuss is with O. No, it's similar to A. Fuss. Ah, fuss. Yes, you, my pleasure. And and here, uh, um, let me see, Stella. It says either. I wouldn't either. Yes, either. 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 Also, here the word is promise. I mean, the verb is promise. The third person is promises. Promise. Promises. Promises. Okay. Yes. Promises. Yeah, that's the pronunciation. And for you, it's fuss. Here, Angel, fuss. Uh, we will see fuss. all the fuss is about. All right. Fuss is about. Okay. Yes, overall, you did great, both of you. Congratulations. I don't have too many corrections, if you know. Uh, so let's go with, um, let's see, Daniel Florentino, you ready? You're going to do it with Jacqueline Miranda. Are you ready, Jacqueline? Okay. Are you guys ready? Yes, I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. Watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I would never get a pair of shoes. These are too expensive. I wouldn't, I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the shoes is about. Is about. Excellent. Wonderful reading, guys. Jacqueline, special congratulations uh, on the pronunciation of all the, the S sounds. I really like it. All the, all the third persons here makes, yeah, promises, customers, regardless, all those S sounds were very clear. Now, here, um, let me see, Daniel. And let me see, where was yours? Fuss. Again, fuss. fuss. Yes, fuss. fuss. It's scandal, all right? In here, let me see. Because mm -hmm. they all get their shoes. Yeah, that's it. Just fuss. Just one fuss. mistake, okay? Put it in your yeah. vocabulary. It's a little bit mistake. Okay, thank you. No problem, no problem for you either, Carmen. We understand uh, that happens, no worries. Hey, great job, congratulations. Let's try now, Jose, Rene, and um, Kathy, Denise. Are you ready, guys? Yes. yes, I'm ready. Okay, let's give your best pronunciation now. Watch, Watch this TV. TV. Wait, wait, I'm wait, who is who? who is who? <laughs> You Don't get too excited. You mentioned me first. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think. No worries. No worries. Okay. Uh, Let's do it again. So. Let's do it. Go ahead. I'm Andrea. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what did TV add? Are they are selling shoes that can make your float like a feather? They are very popular at work. I will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but I but a brand that delivers what it promised makes customers buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. 
the marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. Marvelous, marvelous job. Congratulations. I really like it. Yes. Let's go over corrections. Let's go over corrections. Uh, let me see. Uh, how do you pronounce this? Promises. 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 Pronounce me the letter S. Promises. Promises. Yes. Uh, let's see. How do you pronounce this? Regardless. Regardless. Regard. Regardless. Regardless. Okay. Other than that, you are just fine. Let's go with the next participants. Who are they? Let's see, Jaime, are you ready, Jaime? You can practice with Katie Montesino. Can that be okay? Hello, teacher, good evening. Yes. Okay. All right. What's Remember, this? you are la Andrea, the lady is Andrea. Yeah. Okay. Watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I will never get a pair, a pair of those. Of those, they are too expensive. I wouldn't either. But a brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. Maybe they are really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. Is about. All the fuss is about. Okay, all how do you pronounce this? Popular? Popular? Guys, how do you pronounce that? Popular? Popular. 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 Okay. Popular. Yes, popular. And how do you pronounce this? Those. 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 Yes, definitely. And how do you pronounce this? This. These. 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 Remember that this is the plural. What is the what is the singular? Those. Those. Wait, 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 wait. Those. No. These is the plural of this. T H I S for singular. Uh huh. And those is the plural for that. These are the most active pronouns. Check on that, check on that. Now this pronunciation is these because people is plural, okay? Be careful with that pronunciation. And let's go with the next participants. Who are they? We're gonna have uh, Juan Lara. Are you ready, Juan? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, you're going to practice with Kenny this time. Kenny Cuellar, are we ready, Kenny? Hello, Kenny. Hello, good evening, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> I connect I... right now. <laughs> oh, you're just connecting right now? Yes. Oh, you, do you want to practice right now or you want to go next? <laughs> Because we're practicing Next. the conversation. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. Oh. Next, Just, please. Okay, 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 no problem. Um, we're going to choose, let me see. Who else? I have um, Sabrina. Or is very reading only? Right now it's only reading. I'm checking okay. your pronunciation. You're supposed to play Andrea's role. Are you ready? I try. Yes. Absolutely, that's the attitude. Let's go, guys, now. Um, 
I'm Andrea. Yes. Okay. Watch this TV at, sorry. Uh, watch this TV AD. Uh, uh, ad. Ad. They, oh, oh. Watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you flop like a fear. They are very pop popular at work. I would never get a pair of or those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't um, either, but a brand that delivers what is promise make customer buy buy it regardless of price of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. Very nice. Okay, we do have some uh, mispronunciations, Miss. Okay, um, for example, this is the the small the small form for advertisement. It's ad. Okay, ad. Uh huh. And this is the verb is selling. 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 Uh huh. Selling. And here is popular. 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 Okay. Popular. And here is either. 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 Very nice. All right. Thank you so much for practicing. Take um, take your corrections down so you can uh, work on that. And congratulations to you, sir. You did very, very well. Okay. Let's see. Is Sabrina ready? Yes, teacher. I'm ready. Okay, how about Osbin? Are you ready, Osbin? Yes, teacher. Already, no problem, no problem. Let's start, let's go. Okay, watch this TV ad. They are selling shows that can make you flow like a feather. They are very popular at work. I would never get a pair of those. They are too fancy. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuse is about. Fuss, fuss. Um, and what's the pronunciation for these? Selling. Selling, but you said ceiling. I say ceiling. Sorry. Something like they that. Be selling. careful. And how do you pronounce this? Feather. What? Feather. Okay. Okay. You know the pronunciation. But sometimes you mispronounce them for, for some reason. Okay. Thank you so much. You did great, both of you. I really like your pronunciation. You're very fast. You can read very fast. That's what I note. <laughs> Good job overall. Let's see. Who else is missing here? Luis Galicia, are you ready, Luis? Luis Galicia. Kathy Denise, did you participate already? Yes. Yeah, everyone did except Lewis, right? Anyways, thank you so much for the practice, guys. Take a look at the corrections made. Okay, so let's go ahead and answer these questions. We have look at the conversation and complete the sentences below. We have three questions to complete right there. Are you ready? It says, 
a brand that delivers what it promises. A brand that delivers what it promises. Mm -hmm. You need to complete it based on the conversation. I'm gonna let you look the conversation carefully. And this way you will be able to answer it, okay? Take your time. Check the pronunciation. Uh, check the conversation again. The, the answer is make makes customers buy. Makes. Yes. The answer is a, a, a brand delivers what is promised. Makes customer buy it. What it yes. what it promises. Yes. Promises. What it promises yes. makes. Make. Yes. Make customers buy it. Buy it. Buy it. Buy it. Regardless of price. Okay, go ahead and complete number two. I'm all ears. They get all these people to buy their shoes. Correct. They get all these people. Give me longer E. These, okay? These. These, because it's plural. Yes. They get all these people to buy. To buy. To buy. To buy their shoes. Wonderful. All right. What about number three? I'm all ears. Mm -hmm. Check it out, check it out. Number three, do you agree? Do you agree with the first statement? We're going to discuss. The first statement says a brand that delivers, listen, a brand or a company, right? A brand that delivers, it provides it what it promises, makes customers buy regardless of the price, no matter if the price, no matter if the price is expensive, very expensive, um, average or cheap. They will buy it. Why? Because the brand delivers what it promises. So you meet the customer's expectations. Um, what's, do you agree with this statement? Do you agree with it? And why? Uh, yes, teacher. I think I agree mm -hmm. because, for example, if the the product is is a good product of also the material, also is mm, it doesn't matter if the cost is expensive sometimes. Very well, thank you. Question for you, Angel, and, and for the class. How do you say it doesn't matter? It doesn't matter in one word. Mm, I don't know. Regardless. What? Regardless. Regardless. Good job. Good job. Excellent, Sabrina. Good job. What point? <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Let me just uh, check these two links real quick. Let me see if they have something useful. Uh, most of the times they do, but we need to make sure. Yeah, so try to use that word. It's very elegant. It's more professional. It's very like advanced English. So it's you, more polite. It's not more polite really. Or... Not really. It's just another way of saying it. The only thing is that it's 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 not very common, right? Uh, to... It's not common, but it's the same things. Correct, correct. This is independent language that... of the context. 
in in, in independent, correct, in of the independently context. of the context. This is intermediate. This is advanced English. Okay, that's why. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for clarifying. Yes, my pleasure. My pleasure. Let me see. This one is not good. Let me check the other one. Give me one second. Okay. Yes, this one is good. This one is good, but we're not gonna we're not gonna read it right now. I'm I'm just gonna share this one with you, so you can have some material for reading. Let me see. This is something you can read on your weekend, okay, on your free time. Let me put it on the WhatsApp. Maybe I can put it on the WhatsApp as well. Hey, I haven't checked the attendance. We're gonna go over the attendance in a moment. Hopefully my computer works faster. Okay, yeah, let's go over the attendance. Lady Carolina Ventura Valdez, are you with us? Yes, teacher. Still driving? Yes. <laughs> Be careful, miss. Thank you for being there, listening to the class. I appreciate it. Okay, teacher. All right, Angel Antonio Benitez Ventura. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Next is Angela. Eugenia uh, Marroquín Martínez, Carmen Eugenia Tremino Reyes. Present. Excellent. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present, Mr. Poet. Excellent. Thank you for being with us. And Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Estela Mabel Orellana Andino. I'm here. Okay, Jacqueline Yesenia Miranda Rodriguez. Present. Jaime Antonio Avelar Cortez. Present. Very well. Jose Mario Valdez Gomez. Here, teacher. Driving. Right. Excellent, excellent. Be careful, be <laughs> careful. Uh, Jose Rene Aguirre Chavarria. Present. Juan Jose Lara Bautista. Present. Julio Cesar Merino Gonzalez. Catherine Lisset, Cáceres Montesino. Kathy Denise Oriano Villacorta. Present. Kenny Lisset Cuellar de Barrientos. Present, teacher. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Osbin Alexis Flores Hernández. Present, teacher. All right, Osbin Sabrina Lisset Garcia Orellana. Present. Marielos Janet Cornejo Erazo. Julio Cesar Ramirez Arevalo. Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis. And present teacher. Perfect. And Cristian Josue Lopez Perez. Present. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We will go ahead and uh, in, uh, do the attendance at the end as well. Intermediate three, you should be here. Perfect. So there you have your link in both channels in case you want to practice your reading and get vocabulary, get a lot of uh, new terms for you to have fun, for you to improve your English. Remember, reading is just another way for you to increase it. Um, now the third, the third link is showing me, it's a YouTube video, let me see. Yeah, sometimes this one really, really helps. And this is um, this is a good video. I'm going to share it with you. We're going to watch this video and we're going to see the difference between make and get. Sometimes uh, you can mix them up. So I'm going to send you this video. Let me see how long is it? It is, let me see. It is 11 minutes, okay? It is 11 minutes. Watch it. Put the subtitles if you need. Unfortunately, I cannot share the video uh, through the Zoom meeting because of policies that I cannot um, break. 
but you can definitely watch this video, take all the information down. And if you have any question, you can tell me at the end, we can discuss together. So take notes, um, write new vocabulary or your questions. Uh, since the video lasts 11 minutes, I'm gonna give you 15 minutes for this activity. All right, are you ready? Okay, I just sent you the link to, through both channels on Zoom and also on WhatsApp. Watch the video, take some information down, write new vocabulary, and then we comment in 15 minutes, people. Let's go. If you have any questions, let me know. Guys, were you able to open the video? Or no? Yes. Okay, but it's a YouTube video. Are you able to open it? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just making sure. <laughs> Last evening, I happened to meet my friend's daughter, she was in class too, and uh, she was in a very bad mood, very depressing. She was a hugging teacher, not only looking for the best, but of course, she was
Time is up. Time is up. Are we ready? Are we ready, ladies and gentlemen? Can we get back on track? What's up? Did you like the video? Did you learn from it? It's a point. What? <laughs> what was that? Did you did you learn anything from the video? Yes. Tell me about it. When we use make, eh, it's because something forced to do something, or we forced to somebody do something, and we yes. use, we don't use to. And when we do, when we use get, we use to. You get somebody to do something, and uh, you are kind of convincing the person. Okay, Juan, you have a question. Go ahead. Mr. Lara? Sorry, it was a, was a mistake. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, did you like the video? Did you learn anything from the video? Stella, go ahead. I'm sorry, I have a problem with my listener. And oh. I try to listen it again. Okay, okay, okay. No problem. No problem. Jaime, do you have something to say about the video? Did you know this information or is new for you? It's new for me. And the um, I don't know the, the the voice of the her um, of the picture is is some right for me <laughs> it's new for you yes i'm glad i'm glad i'm glad uh, well i'm gonna hear just uh two more comments let me hear kathy what do you have to say uh, did you learn something new today uh, the same uh sabrina um i was using make and some on some sentence but uh -huh. really, I didn't know about the meaning of you make. For example, uh, someone say you make me happy, but really, we are not. We are no. We are not no. About the meaning, the really meaning. <laughs> it's like a little forced, huh? Yes. <laughs> That's true, that's true, that's true. So what you're going to do now is that you're going to prepare three examples using make, okay? Make, you have to try to use the first person, I, a one uh, third person, he, she, or it, or a plural, we, you, or they, okay? And then we will compare. Make someone, do something, right? If uh, we give oral examples of the first person, for example, I make, I make, or or my dad makes me or makes my sister clean the house, etc. Right? So you have your own imagination. Follow the patterns on the video. Make three examples. Try to create three examples using I, using he or she, or using also a plural subject, using make someone do something. Go ahead, create some examples, use, use your creativity. I'll give you five minutes additionally, and we will compare in a bit. Use your, use your notes, use your video, okay? Go ahead. Prepare, prepare. I'll give you five minutes. Prepare those exercises using make. Only make right now.
already. Time is up. Time is up. Let me hear those examples. Let me hear those examples. Uh, let's start. Let's start. Produce what you have. Produce your English. Let's go with who? Sabrina, are you ready? Yes, sure, I didn't hear what sentences, how many sentences? It's just three. It's just three. If you have more, okay. it's better. Okay. With make. Yes, right now with okay. make. We can use in past, make in past? Absolutely, yes. Okay. So, um, number one, my mom made me dress pink clothes when I was a child. Your mother made you what? Make me dressed, dressed, pink clothes when I was a child. Okay, your mother made you dress pink, pink color clothes when you yes. were a child. <laughs> yes, that was my 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 color, and that my was... mom, my sister was uh, green, and my cousin was um purple look at that look at that and, and your mother chose those colors yes she has creativity huh yes and just that when i say my mom made me dress the verb dress i use in past or in present teacher in present me hacía vestir in present yes okay, okay. Number two, my boss makes me fill the clinical record of his patients. 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 Okay, patients. My boss it makes me fill the clinical record of his patients. Correct. Excellent. And the third one? Uh, she makes me feel so bad when she shouts me. I'm sorry, can you say that again? And, and she makes me feel so bad when she shot me. She makes me feel so bad. Okay, she makes you feel. Okay, yes, it matches. It's a good example as well. Thank you so much. Good job, Sabrina. Thanks. All right, who else is ready? I will try, teacher. Maybe. Give it a try, Mr. Benitez. Okay, the first one. My father made made me pay for it because I have broken a, a glass. In number two, my parent made me clean the house after the party. Wonderful. She made you clean the house after the party because it's a, it, it was a whole fuss. <laughs> yes. And the third one, the teacher made all this, the student rewrite the class. Ooh. Okay. He made all the students write the class. Yes. Wow. Excellent. Is that all? Yes. All right, perfect, perfect. Congratulations, you got it perfectly. You got it perfectly. Congratulations, I got no observation. I got no mistake, sir. Thank you. What about Kathy? Do you have something for us? Sorry, yes. <laughs> My first um, sentence yes. is, she make me cry all night. The second, wait, I wait, make wait. my sister the first one, she make me make cry. Me, she makes me cry all night. All night? Yes. Okay, and you put make, you put it make or makes? Makes. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I got it. Okay, number two. The second, I make my sister cook the dinner. And the last one, he doesn't make you happy. He doesn't, <laughs> he, doesn't he doesn't make, make you, happy. you happy, okay? You have to dump him. All right, wonderful job, wonderful job. You got it right, Kathy, good job. Kudos, kudos for you. Let's go with Jaime, go ahead, Jaime. 
Okay. Um, the first is my boss made me sign the document. Okay. Send the documents. Yes. Uh, the child, the children made me dance in the class. The children make me dance in the class. Yes, that's right. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, the coworker uh, made me buy the buy some pizza. My coworker made me buy some pizza. Okay. Since since every day you're gonna put makes me. If, if, if it was in past, you're going to put made me. It's made, made me. If it's every day, makes me. Oh, oh. The, the co-worker made, made or makes. That's what I'm saying. Is this happening every day, Jaime? You're going to say my co-worker makes me. Okay. If, it's, if this happened in the past... You're gonna say my coworker made me. Okay, in, in this case, it's made me. Made me, okay. Okay, next. Uh, yes, I have truth. <laughs> okay, good job, good job. Only in the third one, you had an observation. That's pretty nice job, Jaime. All right, Thank Estela, you. what do you have? I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, my father makes me a good share. Uh, I make you delicious cookies. Cookies. You make her happiness. Mm, happy. Ah, I'm sorry. Happy. Are you right? Um, Okay, okay. I really appreciate your examples. All right. Who else? Let me see. I don't see more people with camera activated. Can we ask uh, Daniel Archimedes? The first one sentence is high prey praise a price of a basis products made by less toy for children i couldn't get it give me one second can, can, can you hear me yeah i can hear you but let me let me open my my notepad give me i want to write it down Okay, go ahead. High price of best basis products made by less toy for children. Uh, it's correct in a different context, Daniel, but uh, you're not using the formula that it was showing on the video. In the video, they show that you could make someone do something for you. For example, I can make my students complete the exercises. My boss made me stay in my company longer. Oh, my yes, wife yes yes, yes. <laughs> i didn't deserve but yeah my confused my little bit confused was that the teacher that's showing the class uh, is the in this context it made uh, when someone command uh mm. give that uh, an action i think it's, okay maybe it's, well my, 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 my sentence is no it's not about these topics, I think. Okay, okay. I, I, I was confused in this case. I need to re listen again the video to understand clear. Say that again. Can you repeat? Okay. High price of basis products made by less toy, by less toy for children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. It's correct. Mm -hmm. 
the next one. The pollution made deal a lot of people for years around the world. All right, I appreciate it, Daniel. I appreciate your participation. I want to hear some examples uh, based on what we saw in the video. Maybe you could participate in the second round. I'm going to give you a second round with the baguette, but try to watch the video and try to use the formula. Uh, let me hear, Kathy Denise, do you have something? With get? Yes, please. No, 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 with uh, make. Only the sentence that I'd say. Oh, you already said it. I'm sorry. What about yeah. Carmen Tremino? Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you now. Okay. And the first one, he tried to make me happy, but couldn't. Can you repeat? He tried to make me happy, but couldn't. Um, but you're not using the formula. What is the other example? Example number two. I'm going to make a sandwich for my breakfast. Uh, no, uh, you and Daniel have not gotten the idea. Uh, you need to watch the video again and you need to write the correct examples because the, the exercise is about make someone do something. That's the formula you have to, you have to use. For example, my father mm -hmm. makes my mother cook dinner for him. So... My father obligates my mother to cook. That's pretty okay. much, yeah. Let me hear Julio. What do you have for us, Julio? Hello, Julio, no? Okay, Luis Galicia, what about you? Hi, teacher. I'm here. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, maybe. Um, mm -hmm. My mother make, makes me um, do the laundry in home. And my father um, made me buy something to him. Correct. Yes, that's it. Okay, good. Good job, Luis. Good job. Congratulations. Kenny, do you have something for us? Nope. Okay. Let me see, Kathy is driving. Osbin, what do you have, Osbin? Yes, teacher. Um, the first example, the teacher make us prepare example in English. Yes, you got it. Next. My Can wife, I try? My wife made me watch, wash the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Just Kathy, you go, you go after, you go after him. Go ahead. What is the number three? My boss made, made me buy the coffee. Oh, selfish. <laughs> Great job, my friend. Great job. Okay, let's go, Katie. It's your turn. I'm sorry, I didn't listen. It's all right. <laughs> okay. Um, he makes me laugh so loud. <laughs> okay, he makes me laugh so loudly. Okay, loudly. They made him play the piano. Okay, so he was forced. He was forced to play the piano because he's good. Yeah. <laughs> and the last one, she makes me feel bad with that attitude. 
with that attitude. 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 Ooh, she makes me feel. Yes, she makes me feel bad with that attitude. Very nice job. Okay. I'm going to request you to prepare three examples now with get. Note that now you need to use the preposition. What preposition? Two. Thank you, Katie. Yes. Go ahead. Get someone, get someone to do something. Try to use different subjects. Try to use simple present and simple past. Okay. I'll give you five more minutes and you need to prepare only three examples, guys. Please do it the best way you can. Daniel, everybody, let's go. Five more minutes using get someone to do something. Don't forget the preposition. Five minutes now. Let's go.
All right, time is up. Time is up. Let's talk about your exercises and see what have you prepared. Now, using the structure, get someone to do something. Let's just start with any volunteer. Raise your virtual hand now. Raise your virtual hands. Danny? Maybe me. Yeah. All right, let's break the ice now, huh? Let's do it. <laughs> Let me see. My sister made me clean all house. Okay, okay, that's using make. That's correct, Daniel. Something yeah. else? The boss made me work hard late. Okay, okay, okay. That's correct. You got it now. What's the third one? My nephew made me buy some candies. 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 Do you have any example? All of those are correct, Daniel. Congratulations on that one. And my question okay. for you is, do you have examples using get someone to do something? No, yes. Okay, work on that. Work on that. Work on that. Let me hear Jaime Avelar. What you got, Jaime? Okay, uh, I have an example. Yes. And the first is I never, I, I can never get my family to wake up early. Perfect. Good job. Okay. <laughs> Next. Uh, he can get his dog to run back the car. And we can get the we can get they to to play again. Repeat. We can get they play they to play again. We can get them. We can get them. Them. Okay. To, to play, play again. Again. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Good job, Jaime. Osbin, do you have examples for us? Thank you, sir. Um, the baby get parents to give him the milk. Perfect, perfect, the, perfect. The ad will get people to buy the product. Perfect. <laughs> The teacher get the student to learn English. Get the student to learn English. Yes. Nice job. Nicely said. Stella, do you have something for us? I'm sorry. I tried to understand. But I'm, I'm going to tell you my examples and you correct me, please. Yes. My boss gets us to connect to the meeting. Repeat, repeat. My boss. To get us mm -mm. to connect my boss, to the meeting. My boss gets us to connect to the I'm meeting. Sorry, gets. I, I write that. I'm sorry. Oh, oh okay. I'm nervous, but I don't. My boss gets us to connect to the meeting. And Perfect. the cat gets me. The cat gets gets me to buy his food. The cat and I gets me to buy his food. Correct. That's right. Next. Okay. I get you to dance with me. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Excellent. Congratulations, uh, Stella. You got it. You got it done well. Kathy Soriano, open your microphone now. Okay. The first is my boyfriend uh, got me got me to sing in a bar. Really? One, okay. No, it is. It's, it's an example. It's a random example. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the second, Marta gets get her father to take guitar classes to take guitar classes guitar classes and then on the end uh, he gets his dog to sit down when he said sit oh 
so the dog is very trained, huh? Very well trained. Very interesting examples. Good job, Katie. Very good job. Let me go with Jose Aguirre. Do you have examples? Get someone to do something, sir. I never got my brother to cook dinner. <laughs> okay. My sister got me get my get me to wash the dishes. Okay, if it's if it's every day, you're gonna put S. My sister gets me to wash. Get me to wash. Gets, gets. Gets. Okay. I got my dog to wear the leash. Uh-huh. To wear the leash. Good job, Rene. You got it done right. Congratulations. And my boss get a new employee to work in the area. In the area. So that is a past event, right? So you're going to use get or got? Got. Yes, that's right. Great job, my boy. Great job. Great, great job. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Who else do we have? Any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Perfect, Angel. Go for it. Okay. Uh, I got the cleaner. I'm sorry. Um, she get her some, some to do his homework. Can you repeat that? Um, she get her some to do his homework. So that's an everyday activity, correct? Yes. So mm. you will say she gets. Sorry, teacher, uh, I can't she, hear you. She get her son to do his homework. Correct, correct. Next. Okay. My mother get me to play, to listen the radio. So it's again, simple present, right? So it will be my mother gets me. Okay, I, I forgot the letter S. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just that, okay. just that. Mm, I don't know if this is correct, but say the student get their essay mm, to check. Yes, yes. The student or the students? The student. Is it singular? Yes. A student. Okay. Yes, yeah, so the student gets Get his homework or the essay, the essays, uh -huh. the essays to check. Good job. Good job, Angel. Good job. Uh, who wants to try now? Who wants to try now? Watch the dog. Watch the dog. Talking about dogs. Who let the dogs out? Who's that? Let me see. Hey, Julio hasn't spoken today. Hey, Carmen, do you have examples for us? Yes. My father got me to clean the house. Aha, simple pass. Next. I tell my sister to do her homework. Okay, okay, okay. Good job. Next. And that's it. That's it. Okay, you got you got two examples. Kenny, what about you, Kenny Quayer? Do you have something? Do you have something written down for us? Is that your dog, Jose? <laughs> Tie your dog, please. Daniel Florentino, do you have examples with get someone to do something? I think yes. <laughs> Let's catch up. Let's catch up, Daniel. Let's catch up your, your classmates. <laughs> okay. The first one is I can get customer to buy my product. Yes. She, the second one, 
she gets everybody pay attention in the meeting. To pay attention. She gets everybody to pay attention. Okay, to pay. Only that, I need to be clear about the idea, but uh -huh. it's only a sample. That's great, Daniel, that's great. Just remember that when you use get someone, uh, you will use the preposition to. Get someone to do something. Okay, Don't forget that, you. okay? My pleasure, my pleasure. I think we can have one more person. Uh, Julio, can you hear me, Julio? All right, maybe he's not available today. Anyways, guys, uh, you have understood the structures very well. So let's, <laughs> can you help me with that, audio, please? Can you help me with that interference in the background? Get your dog to do something. <laughs> okay. Please Here. get to quiet dog, please. <laughs> okay. The dog is... Is that Julio? No. Who the dog is? Maybe. Oh, I it's got it. It's very nice. It's Jose René. Jose René. I already deactivated the microphone. Okay, Jaime, help us, help us with the information. Okay, look at the examples in the box. We're using causative verbs. Remember, these are causative verbs. Uh, we use them to make someone do something, right? We, pro we, we make someone to do something. So we have make plus someone plus verb in base form. Jaime, can you help us with the reading? Okay. The marketing department makes employees re re reviews. Revise. Revise, sorry goals and metrics every month. The poor identify identity. Identity. Sorry, I can see well. Well, wait, wait, wait. Let me make it bigger. Well, wait, wait a moment. Wait a moment. Is that better? Yes. Okay, let's just start over. Let's just start over. The poor the poor identity of the brand made people look for products from different companies. The brand's yes. experience of offered by Samsung made customer prefer their mobile phones. Consumers. Yes, as you see, the marketing department makes employees revise. Revise is the activity that they are gotten to make. Now, the poor identity of the brand made people look. Yes, the brand experience offered by Samsung made consumers prefer Okay, so that's pretty much what we have been doing. On the other hand, we have get someone. And here, we're not going to use the base verb, as you see here, right? Base verb form. Uh, with get, we're going to use the infinitive, meaning that you're going to use the preposition to. All right? Katie, can you help us? Soriano, can you help us? Reading, please. Okay. I can get customer to love our premium services. The project, man the project manager said it is not possible to get all these, all those customers to feel identified with the brand in, the, in a short time. The advertising event will get people to order products online more often. Awesome. Very nice. Very nice. A pronunciation here identified identify Identi identify yes all right what else i think that will be it so i can get customers to love yeah uh, the advertising events will get people to order so pretty much that's how we do it let's go ahead and complete some exercises. We have some additional exercises now on the book. Let's try to make them as we speak. And if we have difficulties, we're going to help. Osbin, can you try number one? Okay. 
Number one. Customers' attention makes companies try every short of strategy. Okay, customers' attention makes companies try every sort of strategy. Strategy, every sort of any kind of right, every sort of strategy. The verb was make and the verb try. Now, what we have is the verbs get and the verbs buy. Daniel, what is the other Daniel? I remember that we have two Daniels, right? Or no? We have Florentino, and where's the other Daniel? Is he Ezequiel, absent? Ezequiel, Ezequiel Alvarez. Ezequiel, are you in the house? No, right? He's missing in action. Okay. Why don't we try Jose Rene? Can you try number two, Jose Rene? Nope, okay. Sabrina, can you try number two, please? Are you sleepy already? Oh, it's almost time, huh? No, no, no. I'm not sleepy. <laughs> I, I listen to you. <laughs> number two. Yeah, just number two. Okay, okay. marketing help business uh, get customers buy. Uh, I'm not sleeping. <laughs> okay. Market, marketing help businesses buy. I think I think Angel has something to say. All right. Well, I think is a uh, marketing help business uh, get customers to buy products. Yes. Marketing helps businesses, plural, right? Businesses. Marketing Get helps and businesses and <laughs> make customers to buy products. For homework, please complete activity three, four, five, and six. For tomorrow, we're going to check those out. Uh, at the same time, let me finalize with um, going over the attendance really quick, very, very quick. Um, give me one second. I appreciate all oh, your patience, guys. You're very patient with the teacher, huh? <laughs> okay, let me call Lady Carolina Ventura Valdez. Are you still with us? Yes, teacher. All right, Angel Antonio Benitez Ventura. Present teacher. Angela Stefania Marroquin Martinez. Okay, missing in action. Uh, Carmen Eugenia Termino Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniel Arquimedes Florentino Garcia. Present. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Daniel Ezequiel Alvarez Mejia. Estela Mavel Orellana Andino. Present teacher. Jacqueline Yesenia Miranda Rodriguez. Jaime Antonio Avelar Cortez. Present. Jose Mario Valdez Gomez. Here, teacher. Jose Rene Aguirre Chavarria. Present. Juan Jose Lara Bautista. Present. Julio Cesar Merino González. Present. Catherine Lisset Cáceres Montesino. Present, mister. Appreciate it. Kathy Denise Oriano Villacorta. Present. Kenny Lisette Cuellar de Barrientos. Present, teacher. Okay, Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Osvin Alexis Flores Hernandez. Present, teacher. Sabrina Lisette Garcia Orellana. Present. Okay, Marielos Janet Cornejo Erazo. Julio Cesar Ramirez Arevalo. Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis. I'm present. And Cristian Josué López Pérez. 
Present. All right. Thank you so much for staying with me, guys. Great effort. All of you have a great night, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. You have a great night tonight. Sweet dreams. Thank you. Thank Good you. Night, bye, bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. One like for you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Be bye -bye. safe.